everyone. Uh, this is uh, Roger Yates with another YouTube type thing. There's been a bit of talk uh, of late, uh, in fact in the last 48 hours or so, about the notion that um, you know vegans should uh, be a bit more supportive of one another. So I thought, um, okay, well I'll uh, I'll take up that uh, that challenge if it is a challenge. And um, so this is really a kind of shout out. Uh, um, a video, so it's going to be it's going to be very short, and I'll put all the links uh, down below. And essentially, um, this conversation has been had on um, the Facebook uh, page of AR Zone, which stands for Animal Rights Zone. Animal Rights Zone has been uh, going from about 2009, and is essentially a kind of platform uh, which was designed to kind of encourage uh, rational discourse about uh, vegan animal rights issues. Here we go, just trying to make sure I survive. <laughs> Which is not that easy driving around Dublin, I'll tell you. So, um, yeah, so co-founded or mainly founded really by Carolyn Bailey from Australia. And um, initially what uh, AR Zone did was they used to do these things called chats. And if you go to their Ning site, their website, Again, I'll put the link down below. You'll see a whole archive um, full of uh, stuff going back from about uh, 2010, I would, I would say. Um, and that was where people you would gather in a, in a chat box and uh, there would be an organized way of kind of them chatting to each other and uh, getting guests to answer questions. So it was a kind of forerunner of, uh, of the video age and, uh, and podcasting. Then they did actually move into podcasting and um, I sometimes help. I uh, help on the technical side of things sometimes and also as a co-host uh, uh, now and again. So um, again, you can check out all of that. So that's uh, AR Zone, uh, Carolyn Bailey. Um, everything, uh, all the groups I mentioned, you'll be able to find them initially on Facebook probably. Uh, as I said, I'll put the links down below um, anyway. Um, Cameron Blewett, uh, I think that um, a good shout out uh, for him. Um, Cameron often goes under the name of the vegan police and uh, some people take that term far too seriously than it's meant. It is a bit of a jokey term, um, you know, and so, uh, yeah, look out for the vegan police. They've just started uh, podcasting again. And also uh, Cameron has done a written and uh, video uh, critical review of Tobias Leonard's uh, book about becoming a vegan and so uh, Leonard, Tobias Leonard is a uh, reducitarian um, who uh, wants to essentially to rewrite what veganism means to redefine it in order for vegans to uh, eat uh, other animals. Uh, his latest pronouncement about two weeks ago was that vegans who eat fishes and who consume eggs within uh, baked goods, for example, uh, should be regarded as vegans, as uh, he thinks he should be regarded as vegans, even though he's not picky about uh, wine that he consumes with animal products in, and um, he wants veganism to be flexible and to be full of exceptions. He argues that vegans should be able to eat non-vegan stuff and still be regarded as vegan. So obviously that's a very controversial uh, idea. So uh, if you want to check out the critique of uh, that book, which is getting a lot of praise within the reducitarian movement, then look out for the Vegan Police uh, podcast and, uh, and reviews. Uh, moving to uh, England, uh, shout out for uh, the Species Barrier uh, podcast, it's a radio show and podcast and uh, it's always a high quality and interesting uh, uh, podcast. The last one was particularly good on the grounds that I was the first guest of it. Uh, that again is a joke, lighten up folks. Um, so uh, yeah, we, we kind of, um, so um, uh, Ruth Marcus and I, we looked at um, uh, two films which are fairly recent um, we recorded it quite a while ago, but it's um, been released recently. 
and we looked at uh, Carnage, the Simon Amstel uh, film, which, uh, which was on the BBC. And uh, that, um, if you haven't seen that, highly uh, recommended. You do need a sense of humour to watch uh, Carnage, and the uh, device that is used in that film, if you don't know, is that it's a film set in the future looking back. Now, the future in this film is a vegan future. Um, it's also a gender queer um, future, so it's kind of like a futuristic vision of a peaceful world in, in which everyone uh, is non-violent and everyone is vegan. It's good stuff. But like I say, you do need a sense of humour uh, to watch it. Uh, and we also looked at uh, What the Health, uh, the recent uh, documentary Cow Cowspiracy 2 as it were. So that's the species barrier, uh, always worth uh, a listen. Uh, coming to Ireland, we obviously have the group that I'm mainly involved in, which is the uh, VIP. Uh, but also, um, I help out with a group called Vigo on a Saturday. Uh, Vigo stands for Vegan Education on the Go, and um, they do five hours in a place called Westmoreland Street in Dublin, right in the city centre. And um, I call it the Vigo Vegan Street because they've got uh, banners and posters on both sides of the walkway and uh, essentially people can't kind of get away from it really. So the founder of um, Vigo is called Declan Bowens and he chose that name because he wants to encourage people to do more vegan outreach throughout the island of Ireland. And so um, if you are watching this and you are from Ireland, then do... Um, contact Declan because um, he'll be able to give you some support in terms of ideas or even the idea of um, him coming down to kind of like help you set something up. Uh, he might be able to help with, uh, with literature, you know, um, e even some equipment. Uh, so um, that, that would be uh, a good thing to do if you're interested in doing some street uh, vegan outreach. Contact Vigo. Again, details down below. Uh, another group called uh, NARA uh, in Ireland. Um, they tend to be into single issues, but it's kind of a abolitionized single issue, so um, it's single issue ideas, but they are always uh, in, incorporated into a, a, a general kind of a vegan uh, framework. So they tend to um, go for things like uh, demonstrations, but they also do uh, leafleting, straight vegan outreach. Uh, as well, so that's uh, NARA National Animal Rights Association. Um, the Alliance for Animal Rights, uh, which was founded in the 1980s, and that's run uh, by Bernie Wright. And at the moment, their main their main thing at the moment is they are running a Food Not Bombs uh, initiative, and so that's Food Not Bombs Dublin County on Facebook. And so far they've done uh, three of those. They're organizing once a month at the moment, uh, looking to uh, expand that uh, when Bernie becomes a little bit freer and also the uh, group becomes a little bit more uh, established, I suppose. So if you don't know what Food Not Bombs is, we're talking about vegan food uh, being supplied to the homeless. It goes down really well. and. Um, I've, I've been to the first three and uh, it's really good. Uh, it's food, mainly things like sandwiches at the moment, but also uh, other issues, um, you know, fruit, fruit and veg, um, you know, salads, that kind of thing. And also, not just food, things like, um, you know, water, tea, tea and coffee are supplied, but also uh, clothing as well. Clothing is a major issue for the homeless, um, as you can imagine. And we also supply uh, via a great activist called Steve, um, these little kind of packages for the homeless, which include things like toothpaste and socks. Uh, the homeless always need, need socks. It's a major problem for the homeless if their stuff gets wet because there's, there's no way uh, of, of dealing with it, especially if we're talking about big items uh, things like sleeping bags and that kind of stuff. And um, one thing, of course, that people probably don't r 
realise is that uh, it's quite difficult for vegan and even vegetarian people who are homeless and we've met a few of those already and of course this is kind of tapping into that thing about you know beggars can't be choosers or shouldn't be and so therefore I think there's a bit of a problem that if you're uh, going to a, a soup kitchen or a, a food not bombs or um, you know some kind of um, supply of food for the homeless that if you then start to just ask you know some innocent questions about you know what's in this stuff then I think that is frowned upon uh, rather and so I think the fact that um, you know a homeless vegan person can get access to vegan food is very, is very important and it uh, means um, like it is for all, all vegans you know when you go to a vegan uh, home or you go to uh, you know a vegan restaurant you can kind of relax can't you you don't have to be uh, as it were on, uh, on guard in, in case uh, you get a supply of stuff that you don't want and you know? it's, it's an issue okay so that's my little shout out video uh, I hope you found that useful I know it's a bit limited in terms of, of who I picked out and I wanted to keep it grassroots and um, people that I know mainly as, as well so um, hope you found it interesting anyway check out the links uh, down below and uh, you can also recommend uh, other groups uh, in the comments of course so I'll see you again next time for another YouTube type thing and so this is uh, Roger Yates uh, signing off and I'll see you again bye for now